Creo Parametric 9.0 introduces the new Divide Surface feature. You can now use the capabilities of the new Divide Surface feature in core modeling and throughout the broader Creo environment to split a surface area into a new adjacent touching surface that is based on the same surface definition as the original surface. This helps to better support a broad variety of use cases, for example in the areas of model-based definition, visualization, simulation, part modeling, data exchange, and more. Divide Surface supports two creation methods, sketch-based and chain-based. The sketch-based creation method projects the selected sketch onto a single or multiple surfaces and splits each of them into two. A flip option gives you control to define which portion keeps the original surface ID and which one becomes the new surface. Also sketch region selection is supported for object action workflows with this creation method. An intense surface reference is created automatically for the divided surface feature. That makes it easy to select all surfaces created during the divide operation. Even if many surfaces are included in the operation, it is therefore easy to, for example, assign a color to all of them. A divide surface feature can also be based on chain references that lie within the selected surfaces. You can select multiple chains individually or use the advanced chain selection option all curves in feature. The shown example illustrates this using intersection curves created between the main design body and the fixture body. The resulting new surfaces can then be used to indicate the contact areas between the bodies. The surface references can also be used in MBD-related workflows as fully semantic references for annotations, such as the shown leader node. Divided surfaces can also streamline some geometry modification workflows, such as the creation of an embossed or engraved label on a body surface. This can now be accomplished with three simple steps. First, wrap the label text defined in a sketch onto the surface. Second, use the wrapped curves to divide the surface. And third, use flexible modeling offset to offset the new surface towards the outside or inside of the solid body. Flexible modeling automatically creates side surfaces in that situation which completes the workflow. Creo Parametric 9.0 increases design productivity for many use cases requiring surface areas as referenceable objects in the model geometry. Please refer to additional what's new information for more details on related use case examples and capabilities.